Hi my lovelies, welcome back. It's day nine of my Vlogmas and we are on the tour bus right now on our way to Amsterdam for the Milkshake Fest. It had been years since we performed in Amsterdam and it was so nice to like catch up with all of our old fans from back in the day. They all turned up to show us love and also just like meeting new fans as well. We had a blast. After that we headed back on the tour bus towards Ireland because we had a gig out there. Then we had another gig in Oxfordshire. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a day off at Soho Farmhouse. I am obsessed with Soho Farmhouse. We got a cabin each and outside each cabin you have a bike and you get to just like ride it around. There's bikes really everywhere, but they actually leave like your own bikes outside of your cabin, which is really cool. I loved it. I stayed in like sort of like an igloo apartment. The food was amazing. I had the most delicious breakfast. I went swimming. I went to the spa with the girls. And yeah, we just had a really nice time. On top of having a busy schedule, we've been in the studio just kind of writing different songs and like experimenting with different sounds to kind of figure out what direction we want to go into next. And one of the songs we wrote, if you haven't heard it by now, it's called When the Rain Comes. And on one of the days we went back in to kind of add more swag, more harmonies on our vocals. So here's a clip of that. Something like I know you will when you say you will, yeah, 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 yeah. Will you run or will you be there when the rain comes? Basically, the song is we're kind of having discussion a discussion about our journey so far as far as people just like leaving you, kind of like when you're down and out and just how life sort of like works and people are always there for the celebration but are they really there when it matters who knows but that's what we're obviously hoping for in our lives and we kind of wanted to put that into song because that's sort of where we're at we've been through such a journey with each other and just in this industry in general and um yeah we just feel like it's all good to celebrate and we're here for the celebration but let's just you know hope that everyone's there regardless of what happens in our lives and yeah i hope a lot of people can relate to that and then we were back on the road again and this time Siobhan brought her kids with her, my niece Mia came, Rasheen's sister who's our makeup artist brought her daughter Tilly and it was like a nice family affair. Um, like I said in a previous vlog, we have a party bus but sometimes you know we keep it cute and calm and we have our family with us and it was so so lovely and the kids were so excited. So when we arrived we were surprised to see that we were in another castle but this time it was so much fun because you had like loads of family events going on all around and kids were climbing walls. You could play like honestly every game under the sun and it was definitely catering for like adults and kids. One of the highlights for me this year has been doing the boiler room. It's such an iconic place to perform um, and it's a real tastemakers event and we're so happy to be a part of it. And we had a blast. And my favorite thing was that the stage is really low and everyone's surrounding us. Very nerve wracking, but very cool.
And then I was back in Canada again, and there is nothing like the Canada sunshine. Of course, I did my usual things that I do when I go there. I went to the gym, I ate great food. I also went to the Latin Sparks Festival for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. I was so in there with the culture, and I was doing my little two-step, and it was so nice to see so much diversity, and I was definitely taken aback and I will 100% go again next year. And then it was time to prep for our one night only O2 show. When we arrived at the O2, we saw a huge billboard of us flashing up and we just got more excited for the show. This has to be one of the biggest things we've ever done in our career. We've never played the O2 and we were just so, so excited. And one of the promo things we had to do was we had to climb the O2, get all the way to the top and it was very, very scary, guys, but we made it. That was the end of Vlogmas Day 9, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.